Hey, it's Biddy Penny. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be making these prayer pockets. Now, I had gotten the idea for this from Ruby and Pearl XO. She had made this kind of thing. And let me just tell you, don't even worry about the lunch bag. <laughs> you don't need it. Um, I will be making these again. And the next time I make them, I'm going to use a 20 pound sheet of copy paper, just the cheap stuff, you know, that's what I'm using next time. Anyways, but this time I used the lunch bag and I just cut off the bottom as you could see, like the very bottom, but I kept all the edges and it basically, mine measured out to be eight and a half by 11. <laughs> and I mean, it's fine, they were cute. I made these for my mom. Um, to give to members of her Bible study group. And also, you wouldn't, you can take this concept and make any kind of pocket journal that you want. You don't have to make it prayer pockets, but I was making it for prayerful friends. Okay, so I used all the printables are from Tsunami Rose. I just loved so many of her. Um, printables I always have and these are all faith-based and there is her information so tsunamirose.net you can fi find her on Etsy as well and these are some of my favorite tags I always love her mason jars I have like two different versions and then this is a sheet that I made four copies of so I made 10 of these now this sheet, I can't remember where that came from. I don't think that's from Tsunami Rose, but it says prayer journal and this journal belongs to. All right. So what I did here is this page kind of had like six cherub faces on it and they were kind of in a row. So I tore it in three pieces. So this is my first piece and I'm putting this at the top edge of the outside of the journal. So I turned this over because I had scored it. Now, after I got going for a bit, I definitely kind of went with certain measurements so I could make sure that my little file folders would fit in and things like that. Um, but I didn't show you that because this process is really just about being free. So you don't unless you have something to fit in there specifically like I did, you wouldn't have to worry about the measurements. You're just kind of making like a brochure fold, right? So a tri, tri fold. And then we'll add pockets, making it a small little journal. So I just wanted to make something that her friends could put in their purse, take with them they could put it in like maybe their Bible case or whatever. Like I feel like the more Bible study, it's easy to start accumulating lots of books when you're studying the Bible and it can get kind of cumbersome. I feel like anyways. Um, and so I wanted to make something just small and simple and beautiful. So that was kind of my goal um, in making these. And, you know, my mom, she didn't really care. It was just free reign. Like, hey, can you make me some prayer journals? Great. I need 10 of them. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, I, I was completely free to do whatever I wanted. So I used some hymnal pages. And really, I didn't measure much. I just kind of used my ruler and teared things here and fit them there and made everything kind of work. So as I would add a layer, I would go back and reinforce those scores. And so that's what I was doing there is just reinforcing those score lines after adding new paper each time. And I'm making sure all of my folds get done well. One thing um, 
because I had been out of the game for a while of making junk journals and things like that, a couple of years, I went without making any junk journals, really. And um, I'm rediscovering that, like, you should really let your paper dry when you glue it down before you start folding, because then it gets a little wonky if it's still wet. Just something I've been reminded of. <laughs> Okay, so I folded that up about two and a half inches. I really, I had all these scraps. I mean, look at all this paper. So I made a ton of little golden books for my craft fair. And these are the scraps that I have left over. Which I don't mind at all because they are exactly four and a quarter by 12. So I can easily cut these and have two card fronts from each scrap. Or I'll use it in projects like these and it made a great cover for the inside of the little prayer pockets. I have been meaning to get this video out for you guys for a couple of weeks. I've had these made. Um, it was a really fun process and it was funny because my mom came over after church and hung out with me in the craft room while I made many of them. And she just made a bunch of jokes about how dirty my craft room was. <laughs> Not dirty, cluttered. <laughs> how cluttered my craft room was. Oh my gosh. So I had to endure a lot of that <laughs> while I was making these, but that's okay. I mean, it was fair. It was fair. So um, most of these, I actually cut this part off this excess that was hanging over the edge but on this one I decided to fold it in you can do anything you want I mean the possibilities are endless now of course this seals up the bag so you couldn't put things in the pockets then on the side if you wanted those to be pockets don't glue this edge over but otherwise it totally doesn't matter and as far as the inside goes, you know, I really just put in three pockets for each one. Again, I was keeping these pretty simple, um, but you could have easily made it like a six pocket piece. So I will leave um, Ruby and Pearl Heather's video down below. I'm gonna link it down below so y'all can see her version of this, which is gorgeous. And um, how she went about it. Cause I think she did, add another strip of paper back there it would have gone like halfway over those flowers and therefore she had more like six pockets if I remember correctly um I was looking for something I guess let's see I remember timing myself because that's just how I do things I think it took me four or five hours to make 10 of these and I guess that averages out to about 30 minutes each but I was also figuring things out as I went a little bit in the beginning and making things up <laughs> so once I started really getting into my groove it went much faster so I know if I went back to make these again it would be even quicker there I'm just folding things up and making sure they fit inside I added the prayer journal label there in the center and then for this, I cut up my scraps again um, and made little pages and just stapled these in to the little folders. So this would be a place that they could journal, um, add a prayer list or whatever. So that went in each one. And then I cut up the postcards in these jars and put a label and a postcard and a jar in each one. I did do a little bit to the label. Um, I just punched a hole in it and added twine. And then I used my crocodile and I punched and added a rivet to each one. I believe that's what they're called. And uh, I happened to have some pastel colored ones and they were just perfect for these journals. So I added that in 
I just wanted the ribbon that I tied on to be held on sturdy. I brought in my glue gun and my wild buttons that are big and unique and each one got a different big button to wrap the cord around. Now I'm showing you here, like as you keep adding layers and paper and you're wanting to reinforce your crease lines, I really found that using my metal ruler like this helped a lot so that I could keep the lines nice and uh, clean and things weren't too wrinkled or bubbly. <laughs> so I wanted to show you guys that. I think that they turned out super cute. There's the pockets if you wanted. You could totally have the pockets there. Now if you add the rivet and the ribbon, again, one of the pockets isn't going to work. But here's my lot of the little prayer journals. And again, you could use these with any theme that you want. But it's a fun project. It really is. And it just makes something cute and thoughtful as a nice little gift. I know I'll definitely be making them again and exploring this idea a little more when maybe I'm making fewer of them. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this project. This would be a lot of fun for craft fairs or just a little gift to give to friends or neighbors and, or make prayer pockets for your church members. It was a lot of fun. So Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys have a really great day and I'll be back with more paper crafting very soon. See you later. Bye. Bye.